Another of the advantages that digital consoles brought was the ability to copy and paste settings from one channel to another once you've captured a sound or a mix that you like. As you'd expect on SI Performer, this is really easy to do. Let's take a look at it. Begin by selecting the channel that you want to copy. You may want to adjust the EQ and play with the sound a little bit until you're happy. When you're happy with what you're hearing, press the copy and paste button. Instantly, a copy of the entire channel is picked up on the clipboard. And you can paste that to other channels by holding the paste key and pressing select on other channels that you want to paste those settings to. And there we've copied an entire channel. We've seen how easy it is to copy all of a channel or bus from one place to another. But it's often the case that you don't want to copy the whole channel. It's either just one part or two or three parts. But that's easily done using the touchscreen interface on copy and paste. Let's have a look. When we view the LCD screen, we'll see that it's divided up into small sections that represent different elements of the console. The first part represents the fader and the on switch. The blue part represents the controls in the blue section of the ACS. The green part, the dynamics. The red, the EQ. The yellow, the delay and pan. And we also have sends, either from the channel to the buses or the buses to the matrix. And in this case, as we're using a bus master as an example, there is the graphic EQ for that bus. If there is a part of that bus you don't want to copy, touch the icon on the screen and that section will go grey and is excluded from the paste function. If, for example, we wanted to copy just the EQ, Rather than touching every icon on the screen to turn them off, if I push and hold the graphic EQ, all of the other channel elements are greyed out and excluded from the copy, and now I can just paste the graphic EQ from this bus to here. And that's how you copy part of a channel. We've seen how easy it is to copy a channel or parts of a channel from one place to another. But there's a bit more to copy and paste than that, and it has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. Let's say, for example, we have a mix here, mix one, that we really like, and want to use that on some other monitor feeds. Well, we can do that with copy and paste. While we're in the mix mode, we can press copy and paste. That mix is now on the clipboard. I can hold down paste and choose some other buses that I want to paste that mix onto. And hey presto, the magic happens again. And now we have a copy of mix one also on mixes five and six. So with copy and paste, we can copy all of a channel or a bus, part of a channel or a bus, or a whole mix. But if you've got an effect process you like, how do we replicate that? Well, copy and paste is open, and I push the lexicon effects key. I can choose a processor that I want to copy, in this case the vocal hall of effects 4. I can hold the paste key, and then paste that onto another processor. Now I can tweak that for a similar sound, but a different sized hall. So that's copy and paste, copying 
audio parameters of channels, mixes, and the effects. It's a pretty powerful tool. The only thing that's worth remembering is that copy and paste works just like it does on your PC. It copies as soon as you select a channel or activate copy and paste. That's the moment that it puts the settings on the clipboard. If you later go and change the EQ of that channel, those changes won't be reflected on the clipboard. So remember, you'll need to reselect to refresh the clipboard with a new image of your sound.